At the VA's headquarters in Northwest Washington, there's a rhythm to the day. It begins with a call in the department's health care operations center with regional supervisors throughout the country. And so we can actually sit each day. And Dr. Richard Stone, the top administrator in charge of the Veterans Health Administration, wants a clear picture of where his staff stands in treating and vaccinating veterans for COVID-19. I can look at every single hospital in this area in a single slide. I can see how much vac first dose vaccine is on hand. They've run out. It's the end of the week that we would get a new uh, push on Monday of vaccine. And then how many second doses are in hand, which tells me a little bit are people coming in or not coming in for their second doses. Information is being pulled from every direction in real time. At the time of this report, the VA says more than 1.6 million veterans have been fully vaccinated. In D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia, that number stands at over 52,000, with about 75,000 vets about to get their second shot. But they still have a long way to go, with about 9 million veterans enrolled for health care in the Veterans Health Administration. Dr. Stone says while they're making progress, their data highlights an issue. Rural veterans are not taking the va vaccine as much as urban veterans are. Our black veterans are actually taking the vaccine at a higher rate than our white veterans. Hispanic veterans at a higher rate than our white veterans. We're having trouble though with urban and rural. And that's why you've seen us flying vaccine out into places and having some pretty big vaccine events in order to reach rural areas. So what's the principal issue there? Is it vaccine availability or is it misinformation that is causing veterans to be hesitant out in these rural areas? Yeah, it's, it's mainly education and uh, when I say that, it's the relationship to your doctor. It's one that researchers have noted in scholarly publications. The Kaiser Family Foundation finding that vaccine hesitancy was highest amongst rural white Americans in an analysis released earlier this year. We were just up in New York and took a look at uh, some of the people that were saying no to vaccine. If I took 100 veterans that said no to vaccine, and had their doctor call them, about 15 of them, as soon as he answered the phone said, boy, I've been waiting for you to call. To address vaccine hesitancy, the VA has coordinated veteran support groups where vets can talk openly and honestly amongst themselves about the vaccine. But I'm absolutely convinced that what's most important in education is someone you trust, someone that's talking to you that you know, and it's gotta be your provider or your family or, or a close friend. Another concern for Dr. Stone is the reluctance of younger veterans with pre-existing conditions to get vaccinated. He says these veterans think they're invincible because they're young, but he says they're just as vulnerable as anyone else to developing serious complications. Larry Miller, WUSA 9.